I, I, I was just uh, I was just thinking I was at a session the other night uh, in which the solution to Canada's economy was the old traditional one of pipelines and uh, exporting natural resources and getting the ring of fire to go and all f hellfire and brimstone of hewers of wood and drawers of water and here we are today talking about the complexities of dealing with the knowledge economy. Uh, and the knowledge economy is where the future lies, where you're not subject to the ups and downs of commodity prices and things like that. So I found what Jim Balsilli had to say very interesting uh, when he talked about Canada's almost hopeless capacity to deal with intellectual property, which is the backbone of the knowledge economy. And I hope this begins to, to, um, to stimulate a bit of a national dialogue about how we become more competent at dealing with intellectual property. Uh, because Jim's convinced me over the years that that's why smartphones succeed or fail and that's why Nortel succeeds or fail and, and, and we don't have companies that do that anymore. And it's not because there isn't enough capital out there, it's partly because we don't know how to compete in the knowledge economy. So that I thought started off kind of an interesting discussion for us.